What most people don't even realize is that it may take separation from the church and from religion in order for you to understand the truth of the Most High Yah. Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spirit Filled episode. Today we back at it cooking up, handling that kingdom business. Man, the reason I say that it might take you stepping away from world religion, stepping away from the church is because many people, you know, grow up with the religion. And in this country, that religion majority is Christianity. You know, your life can resemble nothing of obedience or having a fear of the most high y'all or being in right standing, but yet you claim on to the title of Christian and you say, well, I'm a Christian. And then when you start to ask these people who ultimately this religion was pushed on people historically and ultimately if people didn't choose Christianity, they would lose their lives. That's what they don't tell you historically. But if you have claimed on to this title and know nothing about what the scripture says, think about how many people that already applies to. You have people that are running down to the courthouse to do same-sex marriages, you know, they haven't read none of scripture, don't know none of the doggone uh, commandments that's in the, in the back of the book, don't know nothing that's in the front of the book, but yet they believe in all this uh, Scientology. They believe all of this stuff that don't line up with scripture. What good is that title that you have as a Christian? It ain't worth a dang. Ain't worth a dang. You sitting up might be believing that a man can have a baby, but yet you call yourself a Christian. Your title means nothing. And I'm here to tell you, your title means nothing if you don't have a covenant. You yourself have a covenant with the Most High Yah. The Most High Yah had to divorce Israel because Israel broke covenant. And the Messiah had to give his life in order to restore the covenant. That's heavy. That's some heavy stuff. You might have grown up in the church under Christianity, under a denomination, thinking that you have a good understanding. But even Christian teaching, Christian theology is flawed. So in order to really understand everything in the book, everything in there, righteously in order to be in right standing now you see why you might have to separate yourself from the church because man in this daytime and era all of these churches would like to consider themselves the called out assembly or the tabernacle or the temple but go back and read Matthew chapter 24, when it talks about the destruction of the temple. And this is what the modern church resembles. You have all of these men that have progressed through worldly wisdom, ultimately evil ruachs, going to these schools, learning more about what man's interpretation was than what the book actually says coming up with all of these concepts that ain't nowhere in the Bible and they will lose you in some of this stuff and it'll sound very intellectual but you'll realize in these people's lifestyle they don't have a covenant with the most high y'all because in order to keep the covenant you must doggone follow the instructions that the most high y'all has given you a lot of people don't even realize there has been several covenants throughout the scripture and you have people out here that are blindly 
going into these places thinking that these men have a relationship with the Most High Yah and are in a covenant with the Most High Yah. And although they know scripture, this is where Matthew chapter 24 comes in. These people, when they face their judgment, they're going to be sitting up there saying, didn't I perform great signs and wonders? Didn't I lay hands? Didn't we do healing? Didn't we do that? And he ain't going to let them in. This is why the scripture, you know, in the front half of the book talks about, you know, come out from among them, be ye separate, take not part in the unclean things. And then in the back of the book, it's doggone come out from among her, be ye separate. You gonna have to separate yourself to understand the things of the most high Yah. If you're going to one of these places on Sunday, in order to understand that Sunday is not Sabbath day, you're going to have to separate. Because the Most High Yah, if your heart truly wants to be in a covenant with the Most High Yah, and not just in relationship with religion or the church, you are going to have to separate yourself by getting in the wilderness. So you don't have these distractions because where you have world religion, where you have the modern church, all this new age stuff, they're allowing everything of the world in the church. They want to, they, 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 they try their damnest to teach you things out of worldly knowledge instead of letting the most high y'all reveal what this thing actually means to them. And honestly, you have no business touching scriptures if you don't want to be in a covenant with the Most High Yah. That is dangerous. See, I don't mind being judged by the law. I know I'm not going to be able to fulfill them all. I know there's no need to give animal sacrifices at the altar anymore because of the death and resurrection of the Messiah, of Yahshua HaMashiach. He is the mediator. He was the original sacrifice. So therefore, instead of bringing these sacrifices without splot or blemish, you supposed to be the sacrifice, living sacrifice, supposed to be pure. And when you see yourself not being pure, walking in the newness of life, there is repentance. But they don't teach you that. They teach you, you know, all of this stuff out of worldly wisdom. And it, it, it tickles your ears. Why? Because it makes you feel like you don't have to do nothing hard. But when you are truly in a covenant with the Most High Yah, this stuff is not hard. He didn't, the Most High Yah didn't make this hard. But you can't have a disobedient Ruach and think that you're going to enter into a covenant with the Most High Yah. The Most High Yah will disown you. And when, when he sends them deaf angels after you and your time is up, watch and see won't he disown you when you face your judgment. He tells you, who will not inherit the kingdom? Who will not? Don't nobody want to talk about that. Don't nobody want to talk about all the different end time judgments. Christians just talk about heaven or hell. What about the people knocking on the gates of heaven? Talking about let me in. How come you didn't get in? Maybe you wasn't in a covenant. Maybe you was one of these people that believed the law is done away with. Out of all these people in the church, you know, flooding these prosperity centers, I want you to realize that from the tribe, from the nation, the chosen nation, only 144,000 will be saved. And from the other nations, from the strangers, one third of an unknown number will be saved. But yet they didn't told everybody in Christianity they're Gentiles. What if you have believed this doggone teaching and you get to your judgment and says, man, you doggone fool. You know, good and well, you wasn't no Gentile. Look at how the people traveled on their journey. Look at the lineage. You know good and well you weren't no Gentile, but you chose 
to believe that. I tried to tell you, I gave you reminders along the way, hey, you're believing something that's not for you. And because you lived your life like a disobedient Gentile lawless as the Romans did, you ain't gonna make it in. You ain't gonna make it in. You trusted more in the word of what these pastors and pulpit pimps told you than asking me for revelation. Instead of reading the scriptures, asking the Most High Yah to doggone reveal it to you over time, you got in a rush and said, man, let me, let me go and seek out who has the best answer and let me find the fastest answer. Because of that, you outside knocking. Talking about let me in. There's several judgments in the end times, man. Several judgments. But to understand the things of the Most High, y'all, you have to be willing to separate yourself from what has been pushed on us. Even though they call Christian, followers of Christ, the most, the Messiah himself had to turn around and let these people know that was following him. If you not willing to hate your, your wife, your father, your mother, your sons, your daughters, your kids, and even your own life, you ain't worthy of calling yourself my disciple. He had all these people following him because everywhere he went, there was power. People want to be around powerful people. He had to tell them, don't follow me if you ain't willing to do the things that I'm telling you to do. Don't follow me if you're not willing to put me as the priority over your family. That's how serious this thing is. And I'm telling you, I was one of these lost Christians who didn't know a lick of scripture for the longest time and thought I was going to make it into the kingdom. Until you hit rock bottom and the Most High Yah reveals himself to you. You seek his face and then he shows you who he is. But you can't expect to see the Messiah. You can't expect to see the Most High Yah in these wicked places. Why? They gonna show you Caesar Borgia. They gonna get to the part in scripture where it describes him and roll right over. Ah, that's all the time we got while telling you a Gentile. They don't wanna tell you that in the end, when you face your judgment, there's gonna be a tally against that 144 for people that are a part of the tribes, if they were obedient to get in, every time, 144,000, one down. Still got more to go. For that one third of an unknown number for the strangers, the other nations, there's a tally mark. And we ain't gonna know that until the end. But I tell you, if you look like me, if you look like me, you need not hold on to that you are a Gentile. That's not, that's not our genealogy. That's not how we got here. It's not it. And I tell you, your cultural background, your bloodline matters against the tally. If you're disobedient, don't have the Ruach of the Father, then it don't matter because you ain't getting in no ways. Bottom line, bottom line. Gentile bloodline, or Yashriel bloodline. Don't matter. You disobedient, you ain't getting in. You just out here rebelling, don't want to repent, ain't getting in. But you might have to step away from world religion, Catholicism, Christianity, all of this stuff, step away from the church in order to understand what I'm saying. When you start taking them Sabbath days and doing what the book says, he knows you are, he knows you are rare. He knows you are doing what he has instructed you to do. And because of that, if you continue to seek out through prayer, revelation and understanding and wisdom of all things in the kingdom, he'll give it to you. Closer to God Ministries, kicking it gun barrel straight. Wow.